Hello YouTube and welcome to the first of many in my app discovery series where I'll present to you apps that can provide a positive benefit to its users. So, what is Acorns? Acorns is a micro-investing service that allows regular people like you and me to invest via the stock market using the Acorns app. Acorns works by applying the modern portfolio theory, an investment theory where portfolios can be constructed to maximize expected returns based on a given level of risk. When you sign up and answer some questions based on your personal finances, you'll be given a portfolio ranging from conservative to aggressive. From there, there are two ways to fund your account. One is by transferring funds from your bank into your portfolio. Another way is through a feature called Roundups. This works by keeping track of all your day-to-day -day transactions rounding those transactions to the nearest dollar. Roundups are transferred from your bank to your portfolio, $5 at a time. The portfolio is made up of six exchange-traded funds, comprising of four stocks and two bonds. ETFs are viewed as a safer way to invest, as each ETF is comprised of multiple holdings. Because these holdings are diversified, the share prices of these ETFs won't be significantly affected if one holding drops in price, as the share prices of the other holdings would help to soften the impact of the holding that underperforms. Returns occur when the stocks and bonds within your portfolio raise in price, in addition to the dividends received from the six ETFs. Dividends are distributed to shareholders on a monthly, quarterly, and semi-annual basis. How much in dividends you will receive depends on how many shares you hold in each ETF and how often they are distributed. So what's the cost? For accounts below 5000 it's a dollar per month. For accounts over 5000 it's 0.25% the value of your portfolio per year. However, if you have a college email address, your fees can be waived for four years. Here in the app's main screen, we have the account value, which displays the value of the portfolio. Below that is the last 30 days, which displays how much funds have been added to the account in the last 30 days. This value includes everything from roundups to automatic and manual investments, as well as dividends that are reinvested into your account. Beneath that, we have the graph, which displays the highs and lows of the portfolio for the last 30 days. And in the bottom corner, we have the plus button, which displays quick investment options. Here we have the account strength section, which is a set of guidelines that are recommended by Acorns in order to get your portfolio up and running. Next is the Roundup section. At the top, this displays the total amount of Roundups over the life of the account. Just below that is a section that tracks the accumulation of your Roundups. Once it reaches $5, the funds are then transferred to your portfolio. Below that, we have a section that details transactions that are being tracked by Acorns. Now, certain transactions with the ACORN badge to the right means that the transaction was rounded up and applied to the account. However, transactions that are in the available section are transactions that are left up to the user to decide whether or not they should be included into the roundups. Next is the invest and withdraw section. This section mainly displays a number pad, allowing the user to enter a dollar amount in order to invest or withdraw funds. Investments can take up to three days to process, while withdrawals can take up to seven days to process. Next is the history section. This section displays the portfolio's funding history in its entirety. This section includes pending and approved investments and withdrawals, dividends, gains and losses on your account, as well as found money which we'll discuss in a moment. Next is the performance section. 
This section displays the performance history as well as market gains and losses over time. At the bottom of the display are buttons that can be used to adjust the performance history for a set period of time, ranging from one day to the life of the account. Also, when swiping to the right, you'll also get a view of the six ETFs that make up the portfolio. In addition to having a detailed view of the dollar amount, percentage, and number of shares that make up your portfolio, you'll also be able to see up to six featured holdings within each ETF. Although you can't do anything with that information, it's at least good to know which holdings are in each ETF and gives you an idea as to what defines that ETF's share price. Next is the found money section, another feature of Acorns that allows a portion of your transactions to be invested into your portfolio. What's interesting about this feature is that when you make purchases from a company, like Nike for example, a percentage of that transaction is invested into your account by Nike. Let's say you bought a pair of shoes that costs $50. Nike will invest 10% of that transaction into your account. What makes this feature worthwhile is it's the companies you make purchases from that invest a percentage of that transaction into your portfolio. As time goes by, Acorns periodically presents more promos from companies like this one, so maybe you'll be able to benefit from this feature throughout your day to day. Next is Grow, a site that offers advice, real world stories, and experiences from those who have tackled their finances more seriously. And last, the portfolio. This section displays a graph that shows the projected value of your portfolio based on your age, the type of portfolio, monthly investments, and the expected returns based on market trends. In this section, you can experiment with certain variables to see what the expected outcome could be, such as the age of the account and monthly investment values. But keep in mind that what you see here isn't set in stone, and that the actual results, when dealing with stock market investments in any way, shape, or form, can vary from person to person. When swiping to the right, you'll also get a view of the pie chart, which shows the different types of portfolios and how much of each dollar is invested into each of the six ETFs. For example, 23% of the dollar will be distributed to corporate bonds, 26% of the dollar will be distributed to government bonds, and so on and so on. Also keep in mind that the distribution of the dollar changes depending on the type of portfolio. And with that, we have reached the end of the app discovery series with Acorns. I think Acorns is a good starting point for those who are new to investing and want to get into it. I think the barrier for entry is very low. You can start with as low as $5.00 plus the added bonus that if you have a college email address, you can waive your portfolio fees for up to four years. I've been using Acorns myself for the last few years, and I can say that overall it's been a positive experience. I've had a moderately conservative portfolio with Acorns over the years, and to be honest, even though I didn't put a lot of money in there, and I didn't see any triple-digit returns, Double-digit returns are still better than nothing. In terms of customer service, I think Acorns is very responsive. Over emails, they'll either respond to you the next day or sometimes the same day. As for their phone customer service, I can't say that I've had any reason to call them at all because I felt that most of my issues were resolved well over email. Personally, I think one of the biggest issues with people who invest in the stock market is fear. And by that I mean when prices go up or down, that person's emotions is also taken for a ride. 
And because of that, more often than not, the person's fear takes over and they just end up making bad decisions with regards to their portfolio. So I really think that once you are able to keep your emotions in check, you should be able to make the best decisions logically rather than emotionally. Now as for recommendations, I would say give it a try, especially if you have a college email address. This way you'll make the account cost free for four years. If you do decide to start investing in Acorns, I recommend clicking the link below the video, which will allow you to sign up with an additional $10. When filling out the application, I suggest you fill it out honestly. This way your account will be set up for you based on your financial situation. And remember that this isn't a short-term goal. Give it some time to see your portfolio rise. Remember, like I said earlier, it took me a while before I started seeing double-digit returns. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys walk away from this with a positive insight into the Acorns app and whether or not it can be of benefit to you. I also pledge that I will improve my YouTube voice. For some reason, whenever I'm speaking into the recorder, I keep triple checking my words to the point where I sound robotic on the video. So hopefully it's just a matter of time before I'm able to record myself speaking more naturally. I hope you all have a great day and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.